And I think this ties to the second point. You said this earlier in our conversation that the biggest thing you noticed that was different from the corporate world to consulting was speed. And people might think what you mean by that is just intensity of working. But I also noticed this too, and it's much more about kind of the iteration loops. So what I found in consulting was I might get feedback 25 times on something in a couple weeks, whereas in the corporate world, it's more just like, go do it and don't bring it to me with spelling mistakes. But in consulting, they don't care if you make a spelling mistake, right? Because you're iterating for like the deeper ideas in the content. Uh, so maybe say a little bit more about the, uh, the speed difference and what that really means. So I think, I feel you have a very good point there about the iterations. So in the corporate world, the iterations just take a whole lot longer. Um, and I think this is also because oftentimes there are many uh, stakeholders involved and the people who iterate are also not the ones having the knowledge, right? Because in, in consulting, when you're doing a project, the knowledge is all concentrated in a very few people, five, seven, eight people, max. Whereas if you, you're doing the same project or something similar in the corporate world, you know, you have somebody from the marketing department, somebody from network, somebody from there, somebody from there. Also, these people are not doing only this project. They're doing several other projects as well. Therefore, iteration loops tend to be longer and fewer, and thus duration of the projects gets sort of drawn out a lot. And it actually also creates a lot of uh, frustration, I find, <laughs> Because if you forget to involve somebody at a particular loop, then you need to bring them back in. But this might set you back a long way. Uh, so then you need to take it again and do like rework because you know you, you forgot that you didn't involve somebody. Or even worse, somebody wants to be involved. They need to be involved. But then you have weekly project meetings and they only participate in the third, ninth, and thirteenth <laughs> meeting. Uh, giving their input sort of right and then you just can't uh, can't take that into consideration properly so this I think lengthens things um, a lot but it's also the fact that this knowledge is just distributed across the entire organization and it's very hard to access I find in the corporate environment um, something which consultants do very well they are like these little raccoon foragers for information right <laughs> so you uh, i think oftentimes you know uh, probably ceos kind of hire consultants because you get a very concentrated team of three people and you say i need you to solve this really complex problem for which by the way you will need to gather information from all the 19 departments and sub departments that we have you have four weeks and you kind of let them loose and they are relentless in gathering that information because it's their lifeblood it's what makes consultants stick a consultant without information is nothing right because you have nothing to build on so it's super aggressive like i need that information and they go to all of the stakeholders whether it be 9 10 17 200 and gather that information in the corporate world people are like i don't have that information well it's with johnny but you know he's on vacation today so maybe i'll reach out the next day etc so um information is not as accessible or readily available which slows again things down because you just don't have it at your fingertips 